Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to effectively search a Word document for certain keywords you might be looking for. So this is pretty straightforward and a very common functionality that many people use every day on their office products. So we're going to just jump right into it. So there's a couple of different ways we can do it. Personally, the quickest way that I have found would be to hold down the control key and there should be two control keys on your keyboard. One is the bottom left key of your keyboard and the other one is further over on the further middle right side right next to or right underneath the shift key. Both control keys are right underneath the shift key and you want to hold down the F key while you're holding down the control key. And then this will open up a search bar on the right side and now you can start searching for a word. So let's say we want to type in jokes. We want to look for jokes. Let's type jokes here. Okay, and we can see there are seven results that come up. And we can see that every occurrence of the word joke that this tool finds, it'll give us the option to jump ahead and actually get to that spot on the document instead of scrolling through it. So we can see it gives you a little preview of the sentence before and after so you can easily navigate. It also tells you what page that particular occurrence is on. When you move your mouse over it, it'll tell you if it's on page one, page two, and so forth. So let's say that this sentence on page two, the last occurrence, is the one we want to access. So I'm going to go all the way down there by left clicking on this button. It'll move us down automatically on this Word document to this occurrence. And at this point, you can click outside of this search menu and you can replace the word if you wanted to. And you can replace the word if you wanted to or do whatever you want. The whole point of this is just to find certain keywords. So once you've found it, you're more than welcome to change it if you wanted to do so. Another way you could access this would be to go up to the top right or at least close to the top right and left click on this find button. And if you hover over it, you can actually see it it gives the keyboard shortcut control F which is what we did in the first method so you want to left click on this button and it again it'll open up this navigation pane and you can search for whatever words you're looking for now please keep in mind if your search is too generic like you're looking for the letter E you're gonna see there's a whole bunch of occurrences like 811 so you definitely want to narrow it down as much as possible you can enter multiple words into this it's not like you're limited to one word so if there was a sentence or a phrase you were looking for you are very welcome to jump ahead and type that in just be cautious if you make a misspelling just be cautious if you make a spelling error it will not detect it because once you make that spelling error it's going to lose any search results meaning the results will only get smaller from this number so every letter we type after this letter E we're never going to gain more results because the occurrence of any combination of letters is only going to get smaller and smaller as we better define our search and I think that makes sense if you think about it for a moment but I do hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video goodbye